What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? I hope you're having a great day so far. I'm doing this little new video thing. I know you haven't seen me in forever, but I do have great news. Oh, I have a blessing. Um, I have to definitely show you, uh, share my testimony, my blessing with you guys. Um, but I'm just going to do a little mukbang. Um, uh, this is actually, I might take this black background off. I don't know. It just depends. But yeah, this is a little um, drink. Uh, it's Welcher's Fruit Punch. Um, and I am doing, uh, I got noodles. Noodle, noodle, noodle. See his background. So I'm just trying this out and just to see how it, it really it was like actually works. But I'm eating some noodles and these are cooking right now. Or cooking, I'm going to get it. Oh, this little pot right here is what. I make all my teas out of, I make all my make noodles, anything, uh, hot chocolate, anything that really uh, like involves hot water and it sterilizes. I got this at Walmart for like 15 dollars, oh, actually, this was a gift, so I don't even know how much it was, but uh, from my mom, and I know she has one. When I'm sick, I'm always like, hey, can you sit over your little hot pot? So whenever uh, I moved into my house, uh, this was um, a little housewarming gift that she had given me. But if y'all can see it, that's it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And literally, and like this little flip thing, you pull it down, it turns blue. And, um, oh, sorry. Sorry, baby. Sorry about the lighting. But if you flick it down, it turns to blue. And then if, well, if you just forget about it or something, the amazing thing is if, like, if it gets too hot, it'll flip up by itself and it'll cut off. Also, it has a bottom piece that's connected to the wall. So I do love that about this, that it actually cuts off whenever it's ready. And right now, that's why I'm not really trying to touch, like really trying to touch it, is because it's hot. Like I, like I said, I just made my noodles. I'm gonna wait for my noodles to warm up and whatnot, but it's gonna be a little um, mukbang with the pot of the noodles. Um, Shout out to lovely Mimi. She has me addicted to noodles. Like, I love noodles, but uh, I done got into, like, really, ever since I've been watching lovely Mimi, I kid you not, like, she's expired. Like, I, I, like I said, I love noodles. I love vegetables. But I've never been like, okay, so for instance, cucumbers. I eat cu cucumbers in something. But with watching her, I'll chop a cucumber up and just eat it with nothing on it at all. Uh, nothing on it at all. Um, let's see. What else I do? Uh, noodles. She got me eating noodles <laughs> any time of the day. Like, I, it's crazy because she did a live stream last night. And I, well, she did a live stream and I literally have been eating. I was like, oh my goodness, I need me some noodles. And just watch her and juice. Uh, eat these noodles, baby child, please, let me tell you, let me tell you, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I would love to meet her, like, absolutely love to meet her, and actually do a mukbang with her, like, do a couple of mukbangs with her, because she makes me feel, like, rejuvenated, she, like, really encourages me to cook, um, like, Kenneth Temple, I would literally be halfway through the video, watching Kenneth Temple videos, and I would just stop my video, 
and like, okay, we gotta go to the store. <laughs> I'll probably have it in my kitchen or something, the food or some whatever he's cooking. I'm like, I, instead of throwing it out, I'm running to the store getting everything that he got, really. And Darius Cook as well. I love them. Um, as far as, and, and I love the fact that she's humble. Uh, I definitely love the fact that, I mean, of course, she has her, own, her life, but then she like, she tells us personal things. And I love the fact that um, I started watching her with, be loves life like i i've been watching be loves life for like three years now well 2018 is when i started like january 2018 because i was like oh yeah yeah january 2018 is when i started watching be loves life and that's when i started really trying to do my videos and things like that so yeah i started watching be loves life um i think the summer of 2019 um she well a little bit before the summer she and uh be loves life and lovely mimi started getting together i'm sorry i just gotta think about the things but they started to get with each other and they started like they made a video with each other and ever since then i've followed her i followed her through her whole entire journey um of you know uh the sad part that happened, the happy part, um, literally watched it. And she's a fighter from like getting arrested, thinking like the people who were loyal to her, was there for her, wasn't there for her. And it's just like, I like that she moved back home and she's literally had, like she literally has, she had a beginning, but like she has her a new fresh start where She's going back home and she's with her kids and whatnot. And <laughs> hold on. Um, that's funny. I took my chain in. If you ever remember Friday, I think about that every time when dude Craig um Depot start riding up and everybody start tucking their chains in and whatnot. <laughs> I crack myself up. Sorry if y'all hear my laundry room. I mean my dryer. I've tried the silent thing. It's just whatever you have in your drive, for real. Um, but yeah, uh, lovely Mimi. She's just amazing. Like, she really is so dope. Um, she's, and, and every time, like, even with her nails and stuff, uh, I go get my nails done all the time. Well, I don't have them done now. And it's not even because of this corona. It's because I like my nails. Y'all can still see my nails a little bit. Like, I got a crazy looking hand, but still. Y'all can see my, like, I have healthy nails. Um, and every time I go to the beauty, I mean, the nail shop, they were like, no cut nail, no, no, get nail. Why you get artificial nail? You're beautiful nail. So it's so funny. But whenever I go and watch it, I literally saw, sit and talk about Lovely Mimi with the other, um, the people, the Vietnamese um, places I go to. Love them. Um, I love the manager. Well, the owner, she's definitely the person who does my nails. The owner does. Um, I only book with her. Um, but yeah, it, I love her. She's amazing. Uh, she's definitely been an inspiration to me. Um, and just listening to her talking, um, just saying like, hey, basically, hey, you can make through it. whatever you're going through. I made it. You know, and the craziest thing, hold on, let me go put this hot pot back. Oh, yeah. And the crazy thing is, well, let me sit down, Laura. Okay. Crazy thing is, um, her friend, BC, is so crazy how he said he don't want to be on like social media and I completely understand and I was watching the other day her one of her videos where she was just like um talking about him how he's in case manager I was like if it ain't one thing like what's going to draw me into this lady again like some more well um case manager I do the same exact work as him um peer support case manager yeah, so helping people. So during this whole pandemic that's going on right now, I'm literally understanding 
what people are talking about. And I was on YouTube uh, yesterday and a lady was like, um, how she was, um, you know, she was struggling and things like that. And uh, she said her and her boyfriend had got laid off. Blah, 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 blah. So me being just like a normal person, I just went and commented like, hey, uh, and I was like, well, you know, the stimulus check has came out. Um, and with the stimulus check, it's like uh, 1200 for a single person, 2400 for a uh, married couple. And I think it's 500 for each child. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, please, if my comments are not disabled. But um, yes. Um, but anyways, the stimulus check, right? Uh, I do understand that. And I tell people, and then a, like a lady had came for me, like she, like a freaking python, like a venomous snake came for me. She came for me. And I was just like, whoa. Like, I do not really like to tell people um, about my work, job, where I work at, because it's very private. Like, I, I'll tell them sometimes where I work at, but I won't tell them, like, the location, nor I will tell, like, who I work with. I just say, case manager, peer support, you know, we work together. Um, and we do it. And I, I basically work, I work in a mental health facility. So, yes, I'm a frontline worker. And, yes, um, people have came for me and said, oh, no, you're not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Right now, it's the worst time for us as as a mental health facility. Yes, it's the doctors worried about whoever comes in with the coronavirus, but it, it they have not really like actually focused on the mental health. Mental health has been the worst right now, like the worst with depression. Not only depression, anxiety, suicide. Um, we have to deal with people who are homeless. We have to deal with people. What, what these people? And back to that comment of that lady making. Um, and then I have responded to her. Another lady came from my neck. And when I say she came for me, she came for me. And she was just like, well. And I told the young lady, and I was like, well, try to fly, file for unemployment and call. I kid you not. Like I, I'm not. I'm not a you know halo on my head. I'm not an angel, but because. My, I have family members who have been furloughed. I've had family members who've been laid off. I have family members, multiple family members who've been like, I've had a family member who literally works inside the hospital, who's been working in the hospital for over 20 years, been, she was furloughed. Okay, so no, I may not know what your situation is, but yes, I do have family members who have been furloughed. Yes, I was part of the ones who were almost furloughed like literally i missed by a month because they did like a certain amount 40 people from my job who is a frontline worker mental health working in a mental health facility 40 of my co-workers 40 not 10 40 that is a lot during this time of people um i always said people to like the mental hospital um you know i'm saying mental hospitals again i cannot use names so mental um hospitals we can't even get people into these facilities like no you can't so what sucks the most is when people try to come for you and say well this right here this happened i get it i get that you and guess what newsflash i'm one of the ones who are trying to get you this support i'm one of the ones who are trying to get you this help like we still deal with this stuff like you might be at home you know spending time with your parent your family I still work in my work facility. I'm the only one that is in my, my, at my site. Like we have a big area and then we broken off into sites. Okay. I work with young adults and I've, I've mentioned it before. I work from ages 16 to 25 and I focus on these kids. I focus on these young adults right now. I also have to deal with the people who, the, my, my seniors, they're half of them, but what are you gonna wear? I don't know, just a shirt. No, I'm look, I'm still trying to figure out, okay, don't worry about it. What's our, what's our shoe, clothes, whatever. I'm getting Wi-Fi for these kids. I'm getting hotspots for these kids. I'm getting phones for these kids. 
I, for these young adults, I'm literally doing these things. So for people to say, well, um, just because I say go file for unemployment, because one of my family members had filed for unemployment. Now, it just depends. My, another family member who is a doctor, who is a dentist, a dentist, um, he literally had to shut his business down. And guess what he did? Filed for an unemployment agreement. Yes, he did. Now, in their state, their 24 hours where their unemployment thing is open for 24 hours. So you can get on 2 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning, and both you will. Well, the state that my cousin is in, they cut off at 7 o'clock. But a real close, a close relative to me did the same thing, and they got furloughed. They filed for the employment, and thank God that their job is in a whole other state, but they got to file for an employment in another state, which is amazing. Like, people try to come for other people's necks when you don't know nobody's background story. So, um, just talking about, like, lovely me and, like, uh, uh, that just interests me more that she's, like, talking to someone who we don't take, like, I don't take, and just listening to her video, like, I do not take any mental, like, if abusive relationships, domestic relationships, like, people trying to come at me, I I will let you sit there, because I'm not going to work and try to help young people who are in drug abuse, who are in recovery, who are mental, and in, in mental, mental abuse um emotionally i'm not going to work with these young people and then turn around and come home to the same thing who no 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 they are they pay me to do this and even if, if it wasn't for the money i still work with young adults who i deal with this all day and even when i come home i still deal with it I'm not trying to come home with no family member or no loved one or girlfriend or boyfriend to come and take me. Just because I can't. Man, sometimes we, we, they really, people have not realized, like, people who are in hospitals, mental health especially, because it's like, we don't have our own mental health. Like, they offer, they to a point where they offer us therapy sessions. Like, literally, it, it's, it's mad crazy. It's mad wild. But um, I'm checking my noodles. But I definitely love her. So um, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are like having a great day, making the best and being the most positive out of this whole entire um, situation just because it's hard. Yes, I know it's hard. But out of all this whole thing, keep God first. I'm telling you, you have to put God first. And like, he'll be, he needs to be the head of your life. He needs to be the first one above. He needs to be there. But let me go get, I done said this is my brain. I get to talk with. See, that's why. But how do you eat? Right. But uh, I hope y'all are safe, staying safe. Seriously. Like, it's just hard. It's a hard time. And I hate when people say, oh, no, you don't know. No, I, I don't know how it personally feels, but I know how to help. Like, I know how to get, I mean, try my best to get you through whatever situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, please, child. <laughs> Child, please eat some cheese. But I really do hope it all is going. But uh, oh, these are 
I'm gonna tell you, this is spicy chicken noodles. Usually I add something else in it. But I'm gonna get some now. But I got some chopsticks somewhere. But, and in like my job facility, like literally, if I feel like I wanted to live out of my job facility, I could to a point where my main facility, we have showers, but these are showers for like people who cannot get, you know, don't have a shower and stuff like that. But like we have washer in my facility, I literally have washer dryer for again for people who is homeless. Even if they're not homeless, what if they don't have any water? I can take them down there where I work at, and I can just give them a shower. I have hygiene supplies. I have I have it all um, from toothpaste to shampoo to rags, wash rags, towels. Um, I have washer and dryer. Um, I have a full full layout kitchen, stove, microwave, um, six burner stove, like refrigerator. It, yeah, I got it all. So, I'm, I, you know, I'm just great. I am grateful and I'm grateful and thankful that I am, I can be able to help someone, you know, for real. Yeah. Um, baby. Mm. I'm telling you, this ain't no time to be playing with. Like, it is, it is, it's grind time. And then, like, it, it, this right here should help people realize, like, dang, maybe I should stay my money. And I know they probably, the people are sick with their tax money. And then, like, like, some people was like, I ain't even, I've never got, I haven't even got, okay, guess what, baby, guess what? My eyes started burning. Um, guess what, I ain't even got my stimulus check. Um, I ain't mad at I just really want this to drink this down and eat the ice. I'll be honest. Mm. Y'all, these noodles are busting for real. And like, even like I said, we said all of this going on, baby. Guess what? I'm literally, literally still trying to help my young adults. Like. They getting homework. That's what I see in my seniors. They're graduating, uh, doing like a virtual graduation um, and trying to help them with clothes and stuff. Some of them. I had a kid the other day message me. Hey, Miss Jane. I need help. Well, Wi-Fi, whatever. Be working him a hot spot. Don't mind. So he can do his homework.
Oh, man. I know it's still hot. I could warm that water up with three minutes of. Oh, actually, yeah. Water's on the side. So we're gonna be eating with a fork of noodles. Um, let's see. And like some of my coworkers, they working from home. I tried working from home. I'm trying. I'm not really liking it, so I probably am going back to work. Like I said, I was the only person left in my facility. You got corn. <laughs> I forgot what the name of it was. Corn. I believe parsley. They had. They are. I still got meetings, clients today. Right. I want y'all to let me know. We're going to start doing some pranks. <laughs> Last night, oh my God. In the shower, and somebody coming in, oh, I got to go to the bathroom, right? Oh my goodness. Playing around. But they hit, they hit, they turned the water off, and I thought it was on, on cold. I stepped up, like, you know those nutcrackers, like them men in England and stuff? I stepped in that shower just like I was, like, <laughs> straight for it. Ain't doing nothing else, man. It was mad wild. It was, <laughs> I thought I was going to be cold, and I, I can't stand cold water. Like, I don't even drink cold water. <laughs> I, like, literally drink room temperature water. Mm-hmm. It's icing right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, when y'all eat, I don't know. When I eat ice, I find the ones that's the whitest. Hmm. 
And the crazy thing is, I got a mic. <laughs> I should have used it. But like I said, it's my first time using this uh, this uh, recording thing. So, yeah. So I'm glad I'll be able to post this. Don't want to waste my time making a video and I cannot post it. I need my coins, baby. So please get me run it up, run it up, run it up to the friends, to the friends, to the friends. Because I got some exciting news, a blessing, a testimony. Um that y'all haven't seen me in like two months, literally. It's so crazy. Like two months. That's a long time. And but I've been, you know, on YouTube, but I haven't posted. I have not posted. But once um I tell y'all what's been going on. Open brain. And with my coins, I definitely and I do support. Y'all, I really do support back. Um, I might like your videos. I might even comment if you, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. Definitely, like, I'm all about support. A um, couple of things I want to run through, like, mental health does matter. Like, mental health is serious. Frontline workers, serious. Um, I had a phone call this morning saying, I might be coming home because someone in the facility in the front line might have a corona. Excuse me? I, I, I haven't been around nobody. Like I said, I'm, I'm the only one. Um, I work from home. I'm the only one at home. I'm the only one that is working in my center, okay? So I haven't really been around anybody, so I definitely don't want uh, anyone come to my home with that shit <laughs> for real? I I don't. I'm trying. I'm a clean person. I am like I haven't like freaked out besides money wise, and I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm super blessed with uh, to be able to um, have. I'm I'm blessed to be financially stable. Um, but I've always did. It. I've always saved money. Like if I knew. Paid all my bills up, and then I knew this is not gonna work. No, I've always been blessed with that, you know, and I, and that that made myself that way, um, uh, saving money and things like that. Because I it took a class when I was younger, um, and then I was like, oh okay. Then I was at, I took a class with church, and they were like, Ding dong, hey, excuse me, um, we wanted to let you know that. And they did, said the same thing. So I was like, shit, well, let me go ahead and start saving money. Because they said, like, if you were to lose your job, you need to be at least three to six months um, financially stable, three to six months, where you said, okay, well, I couldn't be able to live three months, excuse me, while looking for a job, but be able to still pay my bills. Um, because stuff get real. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely blessed. So I, I took you know tips from that. Um, and I'm still able to work, and I, I thank God for that. Um, I really do. I, I really do. Um, but mental health, please, if y'all know anybody who's in type of, please reach out to your mental health facilities. Um, reach out to the hospitals and people who are out there who are literally busting their just to help people literally and i mean they they really we really are um because we we i mean we may not know how you budget your money we don't know we don't ask those questions you need help okay well you need help with your bill okay like so serious like one of my kids without like i know i could have lost my job like literally one of my kids waters bill water bill had a plumbing problem wasn't taken i, I told a class like hey you know we we're talking about hygiene one of my kids said we haven't had our water on like two months what 
I go talk to the family and they cover it up. No, what? All right, that's okay. Baby, case managers, peer supports, we know how to make it around stuff. And please believe me, they didn't want to give out information. All I need is the parents' household, who, who was the parents' first and last name, and I needed the house where they lived, the address. Went to pay their water bill. Um, so yes, I paid the kids six, almost $700 out of my pocket. I could have gotten in trouble, I don't care. Like I am helping somebody, you know what I'm saying? Six hundred dollars—that's a lot of money. On top of my own bills, on top of, all, but the thing is, because I saved and I had the money that I know, I can drop in six hundred and I still be so and so in the hole. You know, not in the hole, but like in the good, you know. And like I reached out before I even did it to myself. But I sit and watch people say, "Oh, I want to help. I want to help. I'm gonna help." But then when it's time to really help, they just don't want to really help. I went to this kid to the church. Man, this church didn't help. What a church where this person is a family. Who paid your bill? And that's all I gotta say is I'm grateful to be able to do that. Um, and that's why I really like I, I'm so intrigued into this YouTube thing because no, I may not be able to record every day. Like I've said, I'm in mental health facility. I work with mental health. Um, and I can't be able to get on every single time. And I can't be able to, that's why I say, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Jad, Javatron. What's up, Javatron? What's up, Java Squad? Y'all know how like my videos raw and uncut, okay? And reason I do my stuff raw and uncut is because sometimes I may have a long day of working. I might have someone who is suicidal and I have to have be on they have to be on suicidal watch. I have to be they say it's a eight hour job or a nine hour job. Actually ten hour job. Oh, I see seven half time on the but anyways, say for instance I work ten hours a day, right? Okay, cool. I still have to be on a twenty four hour alert. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I still have to be twenty four hour alert just to see. Um, so yes, that's why I would like a little entertainment in my own, I want a little entertainment on my, uh, video and on my channel, just because sometimes, it would, hey, I might have a free Saturday, but again, I am a 20, I'm on a 24, seven clock where I might get called at two o'clock in the morning. And with these like phone calls and video calls, like when I'm talking to my young adults, they don't feel like it's not the same. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same um, as being on these video calls. It's not the same as being on, um, you know, being one-on-one. -on -one. It's not the same being on a phone call where they're comfortable and they really don't want to see anybody. But now you're like, just like, Hmm, what are you doing? What's in the background? What's in the background? What's what's who's business? Who cares? I don't I don't care. Just get it away from me. Like I don't care what's in the background. How are you doing? You know? <laughs> That's how I, I really feel. But um I'm here to help. Like I said, after earlier this week I've helped some kid who reached out to me and was like, Hey, I need help with paying a Wi Fi bill. Well, I can't get to them right now, but I can give you a hot spot. <laughs> um you know, everything's closed right now. <laughs> and, you know, you with paying over the phone, I might be paying somebody else's bill, and it's hard right now. Like, it's hard to even get to this, 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 because half the people got access codes that you, they done forgot, or you can't access. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, I done ate this ice, and I don't know. I still got a full bowl of noodle. Well, not a lot of noodle left. Okay. I want the juice. The juice. The vegetable. <laughs> it's really good. I really, really like this broth. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Oh my goodness, this is a 20-minute video. <laughs> 
But it is what it is. I hope you guys have a great day. Blessed day. Stay blessed. Stay great. Um, continue to stay empowered. Uh, continue to stay um, amazing and stay amazing people that you are. Thank you to my all, every single one of you subscribers. Every single one of you. Thank you. 134 of you guys. Thank you. I really do um, appreciate you guys for supporting me and believing in me. I really, really, really do. Help me to get to 3K. Don't worry. Because you never know. I, you might reach out to me and I'd be like, okay. You never know. And, and I can be in another state and just give me your phone number and your bill might get paid um, if you really need the help. Um, no promises on that, but still. Hey, help me get to 300K. 300 yeah 300k yeah i appreciate that but uh, right now my goal is 3k then three or uh, 5,000 and then 300 um you support me i support you and I, i'm always like i'm giving um and i, I manifested into the air that i'm going to be blessed no matter what in what situation i'm blessed and my family is definitely going to be blessed um i manifest that uh financially that we're all financially well i manifest that you know, like manifestation is real all right. See you guys later. Love you.